Good evening, I'm John Purvis. El Paso police say they want to be transparent with the community following the release of body cam video showing a confrontation between several officers and a man who later died in their custody. CBS 4 attends Jennifer Cuevas is live in central El Paso to show you how police say they plan to handle the release of body cam video in the future. El Paso police say they are currently focused on releasing body camera footage related to officer involved shootings and death in custody incidents. People I spoke with believe this is a good step from the department so the public can understand what officers face in the field. Being able to like see firsthand what they go through when these things happen, I mean, I think it's good. I, for me, I mean, it's cool to see like what the job really is instead of just making an assumption. People in central El Paso had a positive reaction after learning the El Paso Police Department will continue to release body camera footage. It's always good that they share the information that they may have. I think that that's positive. A spokesperson with the police department said they are releasing these videos as a way to be more transparent with the public. A very fine balance of uh, investigation and transparency and we're trying to be right on that edge and keep that balance. The announcement comes after EPPD released this body camera footage of an incident that happened on April 14th in South Central El Paso. The man in the video later died at a hospital. They're not meant to convince anybody that the officers or anybody is at fault. They're merely to give uh, people perspective of what happens. Have a seat. Jesus. Have a seat. The body camera video shows eight police officers trying to assist the man who was walking in and out of traffic on Alameda before the situation escalated and officers tased him multiple times. What I can say is that as far as I can see from the video and an understanding that that's not all the information available, I would say that the officers did not have any intention of this guy, of, of this person being killed in the end. It's over, sir. It's over. This is the second time EPPD has shared video from a deadly encounter. This video follows the release of an officer involved shooting video that was released in March that left one man dead at a car wash. I would say that it's um, going to be very helpful. At least um, it will help with transparency. You really get to see what goes on on some of these cases, and I think it's really important. Now, Officer Gomez added the April incident is still under investigation currently by crimes against persons, the Texas Rangers, as well as El Paso Police's Internal Affairs Department. I'm live in central El Paso, Jennifer Cuevas, CBS 4 at 10.